Um, oh, I really think it came down to, to really sustaining pressure for long enough. We unfortunately weren't able to do that um, throughout the whole day. Uh, we did it for periods of little periods of time, but unfortunately we weren't able to execute for long enough to really be able to uh, build the pressure. The, there's no doubt the um, English guys batted particularly well, especially Andrew Strauss and Alistair Cook, but um, unfortunately you know, all of us as a bowling group weren't able to um, well, consistently execute to be able to really build the pressure that was really needed out um, out there. Even uh, Mitchell was struggling to get his bouncer up there, the trampoline bouncer. Was that a reflection of how flat the pitches become? Um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. Um, I think the, there's no doubt the, there's a couple of cracks there, but I think in the end it really it comes down to execution. Um, and really been able to bowl exactly where you want to. I, th I think the wicket, you know, no doubt it played very nicely, but um, and in the end, we need to make sure that we were able to execute exactly what we want to do. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do it for long enough today. Hey. Shane, you played a lot with Mitchell. What's the best way to get him to the... do, do you see him as being down on confidence at the moment? Um, no, not particularly, no. I don't, I don't think it's actually... You can really single out Mitch um, from today. I think... All of us, um, the bowlers, didn't you know, perform particularly well. Um, you know, me, me included. My first bowl today was, you know, not not exactly what I wanted to do. I was bowling one one loose ball and over, and that's you know, my role within the team is actually to to be able to tie up an end and um, let the other guys go from the other end. So, um, you know, I don't I don't think singling out Mitch himself is. Um, I think that's particularly harsh because all of us as a group weren't able to actually um, sustain it for long enough. Um, I'm not sure that was a very different game, um, the way it panned out, but um, oh, I think in the end we, it's it's disappointing because of how well um, Mike Hussey and Brad hadn't batted yesterday to really be able to get us in the position that we were, that we were starting today, but um, yeah, unfortunately it's just been um, something that we really haven't been able to consistently do for, you know, for a period of time and which is be able to sustain pressure. And that's something that we are continuing to work on as a group because we know how important it is um, on flat wickets. And there's no doubt that there's going to be a lot of flat wickets throughout this whole summer. So um, we're going to have to continue to improve to be able to make sure we get better at it. Shane, I think a lot of people waking up in the UK were have taken great heart from the way that um, Strauss and Cook passed in particular. How much credit do you think they deserve for, I don't know, showing kind of resilience that perhaps English batsmen haven't always shown you? Look, I, I knew at the start of the day that the um, English weren't going to give up without a fight. There's no doubt, and you know they, they showed that from the you know for the first session. Um, they did no, no doubt they did bat very well, but um, you know we know also that um, you can't just you know use that as an excuse. You've always got to find a way to be able to get them out, and you know the way that um, that we do we can do that as a group is really be able to make the most of every bowling option we have in the team and be able to fulfil our role and unfortunately we weren't able to do that consistently today um, and you know we, we let the, the English batsmen um, bat well as well um, and, and they definitely did that. Not really. Not really. No, any any big partnerships not ideal. Um, as the you know, Pom saw the other um, yesterday, three hundred runs is not ideal. It means that you're also going to be out in the field for a long time as well. But look, I don't I don't think that's really um, saying anything. I think in the end, it really just comes down to what we're able to do as a group, and we're going to learn from that. I'm not so sure about a percentage, but um, look, I think we've, we are we are still in the game, no doubt. But um, we've, we do have to turn it around very quickly because um, there are only what, 80 or 90 runs ahead at the moment. Obviously, still need to get nine wickets, and that seems a long way away at the moment. But um, after today, but um, no, there's still there's definitely still you know, quite quite a bit of hope um, for us. We but we know we've got to turn it around and do it much better tomorrow morning, and um, and see what happens from there. It'd be nice if they did. Um, 
it might give us a few more opportunities as well to be able to take some wickets. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the day pans out. I think it's going to be a, you know, a really exciting day of test cricket and that's really what, what you always want as a... Um, you know, test match viewing public but also player as well is you know you never really know what's going to happen on, on day five and um, you know, for our sake let's hope it's sort of everything goes our way but I think it's going to be a very um, toughly fought day of test cricket. Okay. I say it's been a great test match I mean it's gone one way then yeah but sort of ebbed and flow do you feel that uh, it's, this test match has shown what this series is going to be like and even more so mm. that it could almost be just a few passages of play that decides the outcome. Yeah, I think so. As as we've as we've seen so far throughout the game, it's been you know it's ebbed and flowed pretty uh, pretty much throughout the um, whole four days so far. So, and there's always it's always going to be that way. I think um, because of you know how well the English fight, but how well we fight as well. So, um, I think it's really it's going to be exactly the same way throughout the whole series. So, and you know only a couple of little passages are really going to mean the difference in um, in the whole series. And let's hope there's a little passage for us tomorrow. I don't really think it really has an impact. It's a bit annoying, but, <laughs> but it's not really um, an, an impact. It's, it's, it's great to be able to play in front of um, the crowds that we have over the last four days, um, especially the first three days were pretty, were pretty amazing, really, to actually play test cricket in front of um, a sold-out crowd, which I've you know, never actually done before. So, um, yeah, even to have you know, 21,000, unfortunately, it seemed like there was a lot more... Um, Englishmen than, than Aussies in the crowd today, but you know, in the in the end, it's actually it, it provides great atmosphere for the whole for the whole day. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to quiet the Barmy Army for too long today, um, so I had to put up with them. <laughs> uh, well, they did yesterday. They didn't seem to really be carrying on too much yesterday uh, when Mike Hussey and Brad Haddon was batting so well. But we gave them a chance to carry on today. Um, oh, every situation is different. I think we were we we're also trying to um, give us give ourselves an opportunity of bowling some overs last night as well. Um, so I don't think you can really read into that too much. Um, as I said in the end, the most important thing is for us to be able to execute consistently throughout the day. And if we're able to do that, then we might be able to run through them. Very good. Thank you very much, everybody. No worries. Thanks. Thank you.